done a spring one the other day. It's still snowing outside just now, so well, still with snow on the ground. So I thought I'd go dark. So this is my tutorial on how I done this full look, and I have linked the product below. If there's any questions, just message me or use the normal channels that you would usually get in touch with me. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you soon. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. So I've already prepped my skin eh, with my moisturiser and things like that. So I'm going in with, I don't know how you pronounce it, Neoids, Nioids, I don't know. Eh, the photography fluids which comes up perfectly on photos and just taking a nice wee blob on your hand. You are just going to mix that in and just pat it all over the face and then you can just kind of rub it rub it around just to make sure that it's exactly where you want it to be which I don't think I do rub it, I think I just pat it Yes I do <laughs> Oh well Then get in with my Becca Backlight Priming Filter and this is basically, this is a great primer as well again for photos You're just going to take a wee, I don't know what you call it just a nice wee blob again on your hand and just again pat that onto the face especially anywhere where you want to be nice and glowy and then just I do rub it in at this stage so that's kind of it and then go down my neck and then get in with my Tarte Shape Tape and this is my, for me, this is a shade Light Neutral and I go ahead and I prep my eyelids with it this is such a fantastic primer for your eyes there's hundreds of primers out there for your eyelids but for me personally this just works perfectly so using little Peter pointers get your fingers all over your eyelids and put it all the way up to the eyebrow bone and you can take it underneath your eyes you don't have to, I just do and then using my, oh it's a riot, I need to clean it Charlotte Tilbury in Airbrush Flawless Finish Medium and using a nice big flat brush, I'm just going to press that into my eyelids. Then I'm going in with my NYX and it's 601 in Black Bean. And it's a jumbo. Whoop! There we go. Big boo! <laughs> I'm just going to put that all over my eyelids. Uh, again, don't be, as a lot of my other videos, don't be, you know, just don't try and be too precious about it. Don't try and make sure it's all nice and gorgeous because it doesn't matter. We're just going to blend it out anyway. If in doubt, just blend. So right now I look like an absolute special case. Then I'm going to use my, which I'm not actually sure what this is. This is just basically, no, in fact, I actually changed my brush. This is a 217. Um, that brush that I initially showed you wasn't a 217, but this is a 217. Um, you're just basically looking for a nice big blending brush and you're just going to swoop that all over the eye uh, all over the eye area take it into your transition line don't worry about it because we're going to neutralise it in a little while oh, as much as you can neutralise black so like I said you can see right now I look like I have a clue what I'm doing <laughs> probably a couple of times in this video I did look up as if oh my word what is going on but I promise you in the end it worked fine so don't worry, don't wet the baby wipes and, and wipe it all off, just keep going with it and you will get there. Then again I'm with my Too Faced, I love this palette, Sweet Peach, and we are going in with, this is colour Talk Derby to me, and you're just going to put that all over the eyelid. I do change the colour as well because I do feel that this colour, it's like a dark purpley kind of uh, tone to it, and I did eventually change it to black, but I didn't take anything off so it's worth mentioning that this was that colour to start with so if you're going to do this look then definitely put that colour in there and you can see that right now I just keep it back forward then I'm using my Urban Decay eh, Naked ba Basics and I'm going in with Blackout which to me is the absolute blackest of eye eyeshadows that you can currently get so again just keep mixing that in and you can see that it's still all over my eyelids we'll fix it it's not even a, bit, it's even a problem So, you can see I'm having a wee look, and then I'm going to just use a nice fluffy brush, again this doesn't have a name, and I'm going to go in with the colour, let me just see what it's called, it's called oh, Candied Peach, and you're just going to take that into the transition line, which is basically the line just above your crease. Now again, don't worry if it's too strong, we can go in later on, and or, or you can, you can go in and you can just kind of minimise it, but right now you want it to be nice and strong, just so that you're going to blend out that black, but you can see now that black's really working in my favour, and it's now creating a really 
you know that it doesn't go from the black colour to the peach, it kind of just flows, so it's quite nice. Well, I quite like it. <laughs> so you will go back and forward a lot with this, but just keep going until you know you're you're quite happy with the colour on top. And I can't tell you enough how nice this palette smells. I did have a good 10-15 minutes, but I just sat and sniffed it. <laughs> it's lovely. So you can see the colour is quite strong there, but I do go back in a little while and blend it out just so the transition colour isn't sitting so heavy on top. So you can see it's starting to take shape. Then I'm going to go in with the colour Summer Yum. And I then kind of go into the crease line. So I kind of at this stage where I'm, I'm still trying to get it so that the black isn't blocked. And I'm then going to kind of take it up into my, tra my transition colour as well, uh, which Again, there's no really right or wrong. See, as long as you, your eye looks something like this, it doesn't really matter how you created it. If you think, oh, I went too high with that, who cares? It's still, as long as you got there, then it's fine. Now you can see I'm now going to blend that transition colour out because I'm now very aware that it's really blocked looking, but that's okay. <laughs> so I'm now going to go back in with that colour again, Summer Yum, and I'm just going to go underneath the eyes now. At this stage you don't have to do this. I just done this for my own peace of mind to make sure that the eye was going to look nice and finished off. But you don't have to do this at that stage. This stage even. Then I'm going to use my eye lure. Uh, I will link it below what, these co what this colour is. Uh, this colour? Are you sure? <laughs> uh, even what style it is. And you are just going to just basically measure out your eyes. And I just used the, the pack of glue this time. I didn't have my dual glue home and you just basically just go right along the rim of the lashes and then give it a wee 30 seconds to dry. Kind of bend them as well, which you'll see what I'm doing here, otherwise they can go in quite straight and it just causes complications. It's also worth as well mentioning that in this tutorial I edited quite a lot out. I struggle to get these lashes on, I don't, I, I don't really know why, I use them all the time, but today in particular I did struggle. So keep that in mind, don't worry that if you think, oh my god, this is not working out, it will work. Just keep going back and forward with it. And we also as well mention the fact that this background music is starting to do my box in. So if anybody has any, you know, knowledge into how I can put better sounding behind my videos, I'm all ears. <laughs> At this stage, it's just white noise now. So you see that I keep going back and forward and I just keep making sure that my eyelashes are going on just as I want them to. You don't want to put them all the way into the uh, inner section of your eye because it's just uncomfortable and it looks unnatural. So. You will see that a little bit later on in the video that you can actually see where the eyelashes begin. That's the only thing with these lashes because they are big and bold. You have to do them a heavy eyeliner on top so that you can't see where it, you know, as you can see kind of right now, you can see that they're not exactly mine. Uh, but this look, it didn't require, you know, so much of an eyeliner, so I didn't bother. <laughs> Obviously clearly happy with that. I also as well look like a, a complete ballerina in this video. <laughs> with my hair up like a, like that and whatever I'm wearing, but oh well. So just, and as well, right now, the the lighting on this video, uh, I was a little bit disappointed in it, but I decided not to edit it out because I was going to edit out the most important parts to it. So the eye, the eyeshadow itself looked a lot, you know, as it is right now, it looks a lot more um, dark and, and as I said at the beginning of the video, devious. Yes, you can still see I'm back and forward with the, those lashes. I didn't, again, didn't edit it out because I want to show you that putting lashes on isn't always a walk in the park. It, it does it, back and forward. Um, there's times I put them on and go, oh, they're so uncomfortable. I put them on and they're halfway up my eyelid. That's totally normal and I, I've been doing this for years. So just keep going with it. And you can see what I just did there. I was just detaching any of the eyelashes from the above or the bottom that I've just kind of stuck together. This glue as well is pretty fab, so you can get a bit with this glue. So I'm just faffing about it. Oh, you can see it's still hanging off at the end. Like I said, I'm only human, and so are you. There we go. These are really heavy for me too. And I'm now going in with the Baker Anti Fatty. I don't even know that's how you pronounce that, under eye primer. This is really, really nice. I bought this 
basically I bought it because it was out of stock and there was, you know, I had to put my email address in and wait for it to come back in. So I thought, well, you know what, it must be worth its weight in gold. Then I went in with my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector, which again, I love. And I bought these two products and you know what, they're fab. So yeah, I do like them. And you'll see the big difference with this. But you can't see the green so much in the video, uh, but if you were to see it in real life, it, 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 it looks amazing. It's so, so nice. I'm just using this just to basically block out those mum lines that I have underneath my eyes. Or wife lines because to be honest with you, I have two children but I have a man child. <laughs> so. Okay, so I'm going back in with my Charlotte Tilbury again, Boggin um, Airbrush Flawless Finish in Medium. And I'm now just going to go and I'm going to mattify underneath my eyes with my big Sephora. Um, it's just a flat brush, any will do. I'm only doing this because I just want to put my foundation on, I don't want it to slide. So I'm going to use Estila and it is the Aqua Glow Serum Foundation and for me it was light medium. This is a beautiful foundation. It's it's more it's um, definitely not like a, if you're wanting a kind of natural day wear, but it's it's gorgeous. It's it's it's, it's just beautiful. Then using one of my iconic uh, brushes and this is just a foundation brush. I'm just going to put that all over. I'm just going to come out a little bit because I feel like you're a bit too close to my face. <laughs> And you're just going to rub it all in and make sure you don't miss uh, the, ins the inner corners of your eyes, down your chin, underneath your jawline. Look at that baby hair. Oh, you really get right close up and personal in these videos. <laughs> no secret spare, do you? Oh, here's my little pooch. This is my number one. This is little Toby. This is my little Shih Tzu came in for a little sniff and licked my feet for the rest of the tutorial, but I just left them. So this is Toby. So, once I'm quite happy and I make sure that it's right in the, the hairline and whatnot, and as well, see if you have your hair up, this is a really good tip. If you do have your, if you're going to be wearing your hair up, don't forget to foundation your ears and powder them because nobody likes to see beautiful, gorgeous face and then you have white ears. It's just, it's just me. So you see I went back in again, this is very buildable, oh look at that, did you see my half lash, my, sorry my half eyebrow, like I said I'm really bearing all, so I had my eyebrows tattooed before which I loved, but not so much now, I'm just kind of going a bit more au natural, says me who absolutely pencils them into an inch of their life, but I quite like I can give it my own shape, one day you'll see me a lot more finer and then the next day they're, they're totally pristine, so I quill. I also do a foundation over my lips, and that's because I want to neutralise my nip colour, my nip, I hope not, <laughs> my lip colouring. So you'll see why that's important. Sometimes if you have really red lips, I'll tell you in a minute, I'll go back in with my Tarte shape, shape Tape. So what I was saying is, oh that's done, I do have a new one now, I was just waiting on it coming. Going underneath the eyes, um, and I'm going to go down the nose, onto my cupid's bow, the side of my mouth, and I'm going to kind of draw a little palm tree um, on top of my nose. I'm going to go down the side, you'll see what I'm doing now. Yeah, so back to that lip colouring, uh, I'll just fire on and do what I'm doing here. It's, um, if you have kind of particularly red lips and you see something, you go, oh god, your lipstick's beautiful, and then you go and buy that red lip. Oh, I'll tell you again in a minute, my iconic London, which is upside down, and this is my concealer stick, and you'll see that I'm just kind of going down, and I'm really doing a stronger contour here. Um, and I'm going to try and contour my Michael Jackson nose. <laughs> yeah, so basically it neutralises out uh, the colour of your lips and it gives you a true colour of what you see on the on the lipstick or the lip gloss or the lip, you know, whatever it is. So it's a really good tip and I've been doing it for a while now and it's fab. So I'm trying to, at this moment in time, uh, completely change my nose shape right now in this tutorial. My nose is... Ridiculous. I look like I've had it punched a few times and I promise you I actually haven't. <laughs> it's just my, just my nose shape. So I'm now going to get in with my Pixie Glow Mist and I'm just going to wet my Beauty Blender. And you'll now see that I'm now going to go and I'm going to use it against all the white um, highlighting sections of my face. I do all that first and then I then use, use it to obviously do the contouring and it's just so that I don't end up with 
where I want contoured, highlighted and highlighted contoured and whatnot. And I can't believe that I'm loving my beauty blender again. So now what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to start patting that contour into my jawline, um, into underneath my cheekbones and on my forehead and my nose. You'll see as well that I kind of blot it in and then I kind of pull it down slightly, which you can see that I'm doing right now. So I'm kind of giving it that nice, that line, you know, the really sharp line, but then I'm then pushing it up so that the line is kind of blended out slightly. It's just this is how I do it. I don't like a harsh contour. So you can just see, I keep going back and forward until I'm quite happy that there's no real shading. And then again, I'm using that side of the beauty blender and I'm going to just pat that in and then pull it up into my hairline. Especially if you're blonder, definitely make sure that you blend that right in, otherwise you're going to end up just looking metal. So you'll see I changed my brush as well at this stage for my nose contour, you can see now, that's just a G9. A Morphe brush and you'll see that I'm just kind of blending out just so there's no harsh lines and then I kind of take that into my eye socket almost. This isn't a massive nose contour, I will do one if you do one. One, this was just a kind of baby kind of contour that I usually do and then I'm just going to blend that highlighter out on my nose. I do go back in again with a little bit more on my fingertip and just kind of pat it into my nose. Then using my MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer, which I smashed to bits after this tutorial, and using a nice little blender brush, I'm now going to go back in and I'm just going to intensify that contour. Again, you'll see that I'm going down and then I then start kind of swooping it up again, just again so that you don't, you can't really see where the contour starts and where it ends. Contour is lovely, but it's kind of getting to the stage now where people still want to look perfect, but they don't want to, they don't want to look like they've got all that much makeup on. Well, that's just kind of what the consensus that I'm getting now anyway. Using what's left on my brush, you'll see that I'm now going into my forehead and then going down my chin. And then I'm then going to take a nice little fluffy brush and I'm going to pick up a little bit of the bronzer and I'm going to just put that down the sides of my nose. And that's just to intensify the contour, but also to, to take away any brown lines. There's nothing worse when somebody's had their nose contoured and then you can totally tell when it just looks ridiculous. Then getting in with a nice flat brush, I'm going to go back in with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush, or sorry, Airbrush, airbrush Flawless Finish. Then I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in, I believe that was Ebony, and I went off camera to do that. Now you can back in with my Summer Yum. You'll now see that I'm going to just do it underneath my eyes. Now I did do this earlier, but that stage, is, you, you don't have to do that. I just, like I said, done it just for my own peace of mind. And at this stage, this is a really dark eye, so I didn't go crazy with it, but you can just keep adding colour to it just until oh, look, look at my wiggle in that little eyelash about. <laughs> then I'm going to use my eyeliner. This is just an eyeliner that I picked up out of Superdrug. My favourite eyeliner is our Boot Decay Perversion, uh, but this was just what I had at hand. And I just take that into my waterline and then I also drop it just underneath my eyelashes as well because there's nothing there's nothing nice about seeing that little bit of flesh colour underneath your waterline to your lashes. Um, so it's always good just to make sure that you, you um, get that black in there as well. And then I'm going to use my uh, black out and any, anything that I have put in to get rid of that flesh colour, I'm now going to blend it out just so there's no harsh lines either. My eyebrows need waxed, you can totally tell by now. <laughs> right, and then I'm going to go back in again with my Summer Yum, and I'm just going to, again, just smoke it out, just, again, so there's no black, harsh lines. Now, by the way, you can go in with a, a total black, but you, I, I just didn't want to. So, this is, again, me just going into strengthening uh, my contour lines. Now that I've done my eyes, I now know, kind of, the balance of what needs to be fixed or... Um, what you know, what needs to be blended out. I just wanted to add some more. Then again, using my uh, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless. I, I say this all the time, and I always forget the name. The airbrush flawless finish. I'm now going in and highlighting the white, and it just as well that takes away the sharp lines of the contour. 
So I'm now just trying to decide what I'm going to use for my Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit. So I use white sand and amber gold and I just mix it and wetting my brush with my Pixi gold, gold dust, I wish, glow mist. I think I've been watching too much. Uh, I don't even know what that program's called anymore. <laughs> Uh, you're just going to then push that into your cheekbones and you can also as well take it just underneath the eye which is also really nice now. And then you can see my little bit of hair dye that I had from having my hair dyed. I can't remember what that program's called, that kids program. It's not like a... It's oh, I don't even know what it's called. I was about to sing a song of it there but I'm not going to. <laughs> Using my little Peter Pointer I am going to take that same highlighter and I'm going to just kind of put it in my cupid's bow and up slightly and then I'm going to wet the brush again and I'm going to go in with my Fenty uh, and this is a beautiful white highlight and it's called Metal Moon. I'm just going to go just to intensify it slightly. I don't like this completely on its own that's why you'll see that there's gold undertones from the initial highlighting that I've done. Um, it is nice it's just I feel it's a wee bit I don't know, it's just a wee bit too white, almost a bit, I don't know, robot, robotic or something, I don't know, I just don't like it, honestly. So you see, I'm just going to go over everything and just make sure that I'm quite happy with my glue. Oh my god, what is that program called? I now can't remember and I want to stop this and I can go and check. <laughs> so I'm now going to wear just a nice little pencil brush. Um, these are called all sorts of things, I don't even know what this one's called, I've had it for years. And I'm just going to use that Fenty highlighter and I'm just going to get it at the corners. And then I'm going to use my mascara. This is a Benefit mascara which I bought because of the big hype on it. A bad Gal Bang. It's nice but the only problem is with it, it it's, not, it's definitely not waterproof. So what I'm putting on underneath my eyes, about an hour after it ended up right underneath my eyes. So then I'm then going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and this is in the colour, oh I can't even remember, um, hang on I'm going to find out what it's called because I have about four of them and they're gorgeous but I always forget the name, it is, no it's Lip Cheat and it is called Pillow Talk, I wasn't wrong. Then I'm going to use my Maybelline and this is an 55 driver and it's a, a matte finish and it's gorgeous. And I seen it on actually Jamie Genevieve's tutorial and I loved it. And I went to three different super drugs to get it. Oh, I just smacked myself in the face. <laughs> then I'm just going to spray all over my face to make sure I'm happy and make, again, get my face all in about that. <laughs> okay, so I'm back, hair done, and I'm just posing for the camera. Completely trying to kid on that I'm loving life. And you see as well, I've had a total hair chop. I love it. So that's it, so I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also as well, any request, please don't forget to contact me. I'll see you soon guys, bye!